our proprietary developed technology for the uh, for the powertrain uh, we develop for our motorcycle we will integrate this pow powertrain in uh, in the range from 12 ki uh, kilowatts uh, up to 80 kilowatts uh, we are focusing uh, to use the powertrain in a flexible, a flexible way in, di in different motorcycles, uh, but we are also considering uh, working together with, the, with other companies or even selling our, uh, our uh, parts of, uh, of these powertrains to third companies. Our focus is to position Portaco as technology leader in the motorcycle industry. For this reason, we are developing our uh, high efficient powertrain technology. Besides the pure electric uh, propulsion systems, we are also working on uh, further combinations even with uh, combustion, uh, combustion engines. So a focus would be uh, that we are going towards uh, hybrid uh, propulsion and motorcycles. We do this uh, following a clear, uh, a clear strategy. Uh, the pure, pure combustion engine is polluting and it, there will come out a lot, lot of regulations. Dentro de 10 años me imagino Bultaco eh, habiendo desarrollado distintas tecnologías, no solamente la eléctrica, que también me la imagino como fue en su momento, en la década de los 70, era la segunda eh, compañía de motocicletas más importante de Europa, que yo creo que eso también es bueno recordarlo, y no te voy a decir que esté a ese, a ese punto, pero sí me lo imagino como una compañía de referencia en, en el mundo de la motocicleta y sobre todo algo mucho más importante, siendo capaz de ser un vehículo al que la gente aspire y con el que la gente disfrute, tenga las mismas sensaciones que, que ha tenido siempre con ella. The individual mobility will change the, uh, significantly in the next 15 to 20 years. Electric propulsion uh, will gain a very significant market share. We are convinced that electric uh, propulsion and also hybrid uh, propulsion systems will account for up to 70% of market shares within the next 15 years. We are focusing to prepare Pultaco for this future. Yo imagino en el año 2030 las ciudades en silencio y sin humo de los motores de combustión.